heritage aspect of it. Is it necessary to have to keep all of the thing? I mean, is it possible to maybe get rid of the ponds and keep the um, curved wall, or do and you have to keep all of it? For I'm not sure, but that's a good question to ask. Um, I'm not sure whether you actually have to keep the structure. Patrick? My, my understanding is that providing that the structure is there, the fact that it's not being used in the same way doesn't matter so much. As, as long as you don't remove anything, um, you're okay. If you put something in as well, providing it doesn't stop you seeing the original structure, you're okay. The heritage people want that structure to remain fine. It can stay there, but sort of build within it. Just like say the obvious place for a fountain is in the golf club dam. You wouldn't have any problems with water there. You could just have a water feature in the middle of it, uh, and it would look nice and plenty of water. Well, the the big one is, but the small one at the top, closest to the road, that that's nice and full. Well, why couldn't that feed the thing off the road? Soon the golf club pay, actually paid for the dam to go in, the council wouldn't pay it. Maybe they can pump the water up <coughs> in the fountain. Well, so or could we see the water in there? Have to top it up now, and I think that was mentioned before that there is, 
I mean, that is what the, the, the fountain area is renowned for. So there has been lots of discussion with various other council officers about whether the, the water is available for some sort of um, use down, down closer to where the, the um, actual spa water was, you know, years ago. Um, but that's maybe another discussion for later in the that is, that's just a, a technical detail, really, where we acquire the water from. Mm. It's really coming yeah. down to do you want a water well, feature yeah. or do you want something else? Mm. If you want a water feature, we'll find mm. the water. Mm. You know, it's just, that's just well, a technical well, detail. The about being revamped, as this gentleman said, with glass overlay, like Jasper, we up today, mm. and, and still have a fountain. Certainly. Yeah, mm. I, I think that would be a, a very yeah. good, attractive mm. glass and water together. It would be yeah. very well. happens 
in a democracy, but at least we know that we've been heard and that we've hopefully incorporated at least some part of what you want into this. Can I make a point regarding yes, this water, which is being raised as a terrible issue? Apart from the, apart from the philosophy or philosophical point of view about wasting water, six metres by ten metres by one metre of evaporation a year, 60 kilolitres. One megalitre costs you $2,000. So you're looking at a couple of hundred bucks worth of water. That's, that's, the, that's, that's if we go to the, back to the original That's design. the original design. If we Let's change your the design from glass, you can have zero. Yeah, water. Exactly. And, and supposedly, what, as Bev said before, the actual box behind the the actual fountain that's there, or the fountain structure that's there now, does actually have some recycling plant in there. So that the amount of water needed for top up is even less than well, perhaps well, what the That is the amount of top up water. Oh, the amount of top up, sorry. Okay, sorry. A couple hundred bucks.